March is Women's History Month, and there is a special free lecture series going on to empower women across the Detroit area when it comes to their weight. And here now is Marla Kaminsky from the Diet Center in West Bloomfield. So good to have you with us. Thank you for having me today. I want to tell us about this, a series of lectures you guys have that deals with kind of weight loss and what a multifaceted issue this is. It's not just about calories. Yes, exactly. So one of the things that we've learned after 42 years at Diet Center is that there's three pieces to people losing weight okay. and getting their health in order. And that's the logical side, the what do I eat and when do I eat yes. it to be successful, the logistical side, how do I fit everything I need to do every day to be healthy, and the emotional side. So we're dealing with the emotional side during this lecture series. And the emotional, that is really a big part of this, isn't it? Yes. I mean, and people go one way or another. They get stressed and they don't eat, or there are probably way more people who are emotional eaters. And yes. it's a tough thing to get under control, right? Yes, it's a very tough thing to get under control because we have to deal with what's going on here and what's going on in our head yeah. to get control of that emotional side. So let's talk about some of the, some of the um, topics that you're going to be talking about coming up in the next week. Because the first one, you've already had one, I understand. Yes. But March March 19th is the next one. Fear and food, I understand, the role fear plays in weight loss. What does that mean? Yes. Surprisingly enough, when many women and men lose weight, they are they change and they're afraid of what that's uh, what how the people around them are going to react to it. Most people see that as a positive thing, right. but you'd be surprised at how many people are afraid of the reaction they're going to get. It's almost like when they're overweight, they're hiding, uh, they're hiding behind that. So when that's removed, all of a sudden they become this different person, and that's scary. That can be a very scary thing. You know all about this, yes. Marla. I mean, you, you struggled with your weight for a number of years, didn't you? I did. You? I used to be close to 200 pounds. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you successfully lost the weight and have kept it off, and now you help other people, I which do. is wonderful. And it's remarkable. Um, another one that you're going to be holding is weight loss sabotage. Who, come on, what's sabotaging? <laughs> I mean, that can come in many different forms, can't it? Yes, interestingly enough, uh, we can sabotage, we sabotage ourselves. Of course. Right? And then the people around us, either intentionally or unintentionally, yeah. will sabotage us. The workplace can be filled with unintentional sabotage mm -hmm. when, for example, when people come to you and say, oh, just try this. It's exactly. delicious. Look at what I made at home. They're doing it out of love. They're doing it because they have a relationship with you and because they care about you. But they're sabotaging your health. And I assume that you are, that you are helping people learn how to deal with those sabotages. And yes. that one's on April 9th. Mm -hmm. Mind over food, the psychology of food and eating is the last one you're going to be holding on April 23rd. Just quickly, what is that one about? Sure, sure. Mind over food. How do we think very pragmatically through these um, very emotional issues and make them very logical and take this and make them logical and take the steps so that they so that you can overcome something that's really in your heart and not in your head. Marla, are these free to the public? They are absolutely oh, free to the public. Gotta love that. All right, we've had all the information on our screen at an Enchanted Photography, Frank Street in Birmingham. Head to our website, WXYZ.com. You can learn more about this. Marla Kaminsky from the Diet Center, West Bloomfield. Thank you so much. Thank you for having Great me. Great information. All right.